Hey, what's up, y'all? We had a pretty good day. I had a guided trip today. Took a couple guys out, Will and Blake, and we got on some fish. It was a little bit, you know, the bites were kind of scattered, but we got on a couple of real nice fish and several keeper fish. So the pressure was still a little bit low. Uh, if y'all watch some of my other videos, you know that I'm a pretty big fan of, of watching the pressure and the pressure changes. We had that storm barely miss us hopefully you know it didn't hit any of y'all and if it did that y'all are safe uh it rolled right up the coast and, and like i said barely missed us and but when those storms those big storms roll through the pressure gets really low and when the pressure is really low in my experiences or really high the fishing can be tough so yesterday I, I did have a guided trip as well and we did catch four keepers uh just me and one customer um, but it was a little bit tough too. So the pressure was a little bit below 29.8 yesterday and today. <clears throat> so, you know, your average pressure is 29.92. I like it to be as close to that as possible. If you're getting to about 30.1, then you're getting pretty high. The fishing's a little bit tougher. And if you're getting below about 29.80, then it's a little bit tougher too. Not not saying you can't catch fish on those days, uh, just saying that it, it, it can be tougher. So pretty much all the fish today came from shrimp and a jig head, a quarter ounce jig head sitting on the bottom. Will did catch a real nice red on a saltwater assassin and a little four inch, same same type of lures that I use all the time. So, but other than that, we, we pretty much had to catch them all on shrimp. It was just that one good red and then a bunch of, a, good drums so thanks for watching i hope y'all enjoy the video there you go <laughs> yeah that's a real nice red good job <laughs> there you go man <laughs> You see that one wheel right in front of you? You see that wake he's making? If y'all need to get a little closer to cast to that shore, they're hanging right on that shore. Got him. <laughs> good deal, man. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one, too. It's a real nice one. <laughs> yeah, they don't always want to open their mouth for the grips. What size line do you use? I think it's 30 or 40. 30. You grab the line and just pull him in. He's hooked good. Golly, that's a big one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good little spot right here. I've been trying to see if I can make something happen out there. Yeah, these things sure can fight, man. Yeah, they fight hard. You can measure him if you want to. Or you can set your, get your rod back in a holder. Just leave him right there. Yeah, that's a freaking nice one, man. Good deal. I bet it's 26, let's see. 27 and a half. There we go. Cool, man. You still using the scent? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just throw him in the cooler? And... Yeah, if you want to keep him, he's he's a half an inch from being too big. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, gra I'll grab it for you. So you always want to bend your grip sideways right. so they don't slip. 
Because right. whenever you have it like that, slip it, it'll slip. Man, that's a nice one, dude. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yeah, if you see that the hook is in them good, mm -hmm. like it was, so you if, right yeah, out. you can pull them in. Red, right. Reds have a real tough mouth. Cool. I couldn't even get them to hit a shrimp. <laughs> I tried a shrimp for a little while. They wouldn't, they wouldn't hit that, but we might catch some drum. We're going to move just a little bit. We'll put the shrimp on the, on the jig head for right now. Cool. And then the next spots, we'll put a cork on. You have a, I put a cork in your little compartment there. Cool. But for right now, we'll use the jig head. One of y'all can come on the other side, and you're probably good right there. And we'll just cast, you can anchor up. Good to eat. Looks like a good one too. <laughs> Golly, it's probably a red. Now nah, it's a big drum, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Got him? Alright. That's something decent. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Another good drum. Blake, hey, come over here. We got a little bit of activity over here. You'll go right behind me, kind of close to that shore, and cast parallel with that shore. There you go. <laughs> he pulled drag. That's a good fish. It's a good, uh, good drum, huh? <clears throat> Just grab that line and pull it in. There you go. Once you get him in, then you can put the fish grips in him. You want to try one more spot? Oh, you got one? <laughs> there you go. He's pulling some drag, too. <laughs> it's a big drum. <laughs> Something good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of fighting like a red. Yeah. 
Golly, <laughs> that's a big one. You want to measure him? Yeah, sure. You, you going to keep him? You can if you want. No. He's too big. Let him go. Yeah, all right. Probably like 24 or something. Let's see. That water kind of makes it suck down to it. Yeah, it just said 24. 24? Yeah. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I got lucky. Nice. <laughs> Good deal, man. Nice drum. Took off. Yeah. All right, good deal. For a complete breakdown of where I caught all the fish at today, check out my membership page on Patreon. For a guided kayak trip in the Corpus Christi area, all my information is in the video description and the comment section, and all the products I use from Amazon are on there as well. Thanks for watching and tight lines, y'all. <laughs>